Fucking Teresa sounds like a Frieza race name as well. Oh, Derek the Brony, go fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Derek, shut up with that. Uh. Oh, shit. I got the screw attack. Oh, Here we go again. Yay! I'm an unstoppable Yay. motherfucker now. <laughs> nice. really screw with this you, you know, boss. here's another thing that I don't understand. Like, I get the meme, oh, Dynamax Waylord would be really fucking funny. But all the fucking Dynamax Pokemon scale up to the exact same size. So Dynamax yeah. Waylord would still be the same size as a Dynamax fucking Raichu. Oh, like, yeah. Hmm. Like, yeah, I get the meme, but it's it, it doesn't make sense. No, it does uh. not. <laughs> so again, not that impressive. Nope. It's really sad, though. Like, I remember when I was looking at the fucking the Sword and Shield trailer, I'm like, wow, we've really come far as Pokemon fans. And then, oh, wait, no, we haven't. Nope. It, We're still cancer. They kind of seen it. They, they, it's, uh, to put it this way, and I'm trying to get the analogy correctly, they, uh, they GOT season aided uh, Pokemon at that point. Like, they did so good, and then they wiped their ass and fucked up. I think the term GOT uh, like GOT is like gonna be like the new buzzword. Game of Thrones? Yeah. yeah. Because oh. of what we mentioned earlier that the last season they fucked up so bad. Oh yeah, they yeah, really they did. did. Yeah, it's... no, like I remember I was visiting my parents' house because they're they're also fans of uh, Game of Thrones and they were like chewing my ear out explaining what they like fight what they did, what happened in it and such. Like half the time I'm like, dude, I didn't even watch Game of Thrones, so most of the time, I'm just like, okay, let them vent, let them completely get this off their chest, because I know that everyone and their dog are pissed about the last season of Game of Thrones. Like I said earlier, I defended it up until the last, like, two episodes, and then I was like... <laughs> nope, I'm done. <laughs> it's... Ugh, the writing just went really downhill. That it did. I mean, people Stop could suddenly insta travel, <laughs> and then Jamie, all the all of Jamie Lannister's character development just was shit, just completely down shit. the toilet. Oh and yeah. I mean, okay, so you know that. <laughs> so iconically, when it comes to Game of Thrones, there's always that that freaking chair filled with so many blades or whatever the fuck it was. I could just now imagine that yeah, you know, the last season it's just them sitting on a big fucking toilet. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. With, with some fucking with some fucking bendy straws in place of the swords. Bendy straws. <laughs> That's a lot of bendy straws. Object. Yeah, really. That, that that okay that that it would be genius. I would so love to see that. Somebody make also, that a meme. Was the throne that was pretty much made of swords always that way, or was there a thing like with each new king they place their sword onto the throne, add to it? I oh, what happened know. is that was the result of like a, a long-standing battle like hundreds of years ago where they collected all the swords of their fallen foes and made, melted them into a throne, basically. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's still symbolic, just not in the way I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just kill all your enemies and then you take all their weapons and melt them down to a throne. Oof. I you mean, know, just think, go Solar could have, like, a throne made out of guns. Yeah, really? Oh, fuck yeah. Like, M16s awesome. on each end, and the middle is a fucking shoddy. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. That would actually look really awesome. That's sexy. And the, oh, and the armrest <laughs> can just be pistols. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Greatest fucking Game of Thrones custom chair ever. <laughs> that would look really cool. I'm actually Game surprised. of Thrones had the Iron Throne fucking... Solar's got the, um, whatever guns are made of. Sorry. Yeah. Never mind. 
I don't you know. know <laughs> you know, considering that, you know, that one last season, okay, I, I seriously hope that, you know, the fate of what happened with, um, the fate that happened with Game of Thrones does not happen with uh, Castlevania. Because there's supposed to be a third season. I don't you know, think I they're still gonna don't fuck think up Castlevania. Like what? They had two. They had two really good seasons, so I don't think they're gonna suddenly just fuck up the third one. It's like if they fuck up Castlevania, I think people might actually die. Mm -hmm. It's really the same with the whole know. Pokemon Pokedex thing. Like, if it was actually going to turn out that way, bitches were going to die that night. Yeah, don't, don't, don't pull <laughs> off the final season of Game of Thrones on us, because it, like, Please it's stop. like, God, I loved Castlevania so much. If I remember right, the reason Game of Thrones ended the way it did is because they fucking ran out of money or some shit. No, the thing was the the two main writers of the series had like they were offered like even 10 more episodes, but they said, "Nah, we want to write for the new Star Wars film, so we're just going to end this here in 6 episodes." Oh. And and they kept diverting from the books and it, and I understand the book part, but still they 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 had a goal in mind and they just like contoured all the characters to get to this goal whether it made sense or not. So basically, they got lazy. Basically, literally, like oh lazy, god, this so this, this catapult. Have... They had this fucking like um, spear launcher god, that was supposed to kill the dragon. They couldn't even hit one in one scene the last season. Suddenly, they snipe one out of the out of the fucking air, yes. and then conveniently, everybody forgets that the iron fleet is at the island they're like oh yeah we gotta watch out for that next scene oh they're heading towards where the, this fleet is oh yeah that's a good decision right there it's like they went all just god so goddamn stupid it's like they decide okay the, the creators of game of thrones decided to throw the lazy stupidity card just so they can use be able to save all their energy to create the star wars oh you know when yeah, you think about it because of how bad of a reputation the last jedi has it's just you made that's a really a bad sinking, decision yeah. that's mm. kind of a sinking ship to jump to there friend yeah i think <laughs> exactly i think they're writing for the mandalorian if i remember correctly <laughs> still doesn't change my thought yeah no i'm not saying it's a good thing i'm just saying i'm trying to remember which movie they're supposed to be writing for and it's yeah i think it's the mandalorian okay what was that one that everybody's been talking about in my sister that time travel lady, time travel scottish lady. time Crap. travel scottish lady that's uh brave that's... no that's not time travel I don't that fucking doesn't... know. It's some kind of will o wisp fucking tiny whiny fucking bullshit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. All I, all I know is fucking Scottish lady, alright? What are you fucking talking about? You gotta fucking give a okay, better there was an, There's this TV show that's been going around that everybody seems to be obsessed with, including my sister. I forgot the name of it. Crap! Okay, but time travel Scottish lady explains, like, nothing. Yeah. It's like we've established that it's female and time travel may be involved. That doesn't help. I mean, are you uh, describing that one doctor from Doctor Who? What? Are you describing that one doctor from Doctor Who who was a woman? No, I don't. It's, it's not Doctor Who related. Okay. Oh, uh, what was it called? Oh, curse. Maybe if you Google time travel Scottish lady, I'll give you something. Jeez. Okay, hang on. Google, save. Also, season I read the thing. Also, also, Jesse, season send you. Yes. Hang on. Oh, kiss my ass. No, no thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well. That happened. Oh, wait, I'm completely maxed out. Never mind. Outlander. All right, so I'm ready to take on fucking Ridley. Ridley. Are you going to use the Chuck Norris beam? The Chuck Norris beam? Yeah. Chuck Norris beam? I don't know what I that is. Do you know how to I... use the fucking murder beam? Everything fucking kills, so... Never mind. 
No, the murder beam. It's a fucking. It's it, it's a. It's technically a fucking glitch. Oh Jesus! I think I know what you're but talking fucking, about, but it's also known as the chainsaw beam. Chainsaw ah shit! Beam? <laughs> oh Jesse, it's the personal motherfucker. Outlander. I didn't recognize what you were talking about in the show. Apparently called Outlander. Yes, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. That's like it's been like all over the place. Also, holy shit, Ridley's head is bigger than his torso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's in this game. What the Congratulations. That's 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 true of every fucking incarnation. I mean, I mean, my memory is pretty bad. I only remember like seeing his design from Smash and a few videos. It's still bigger shit. than his fucking torso. Is he? Was he bouncing on his like tail? Said, like a yes, he that. does that. He was, he was stabbing the ground, and your the, the the objective is to roll into a morph ball in order to go like in and dodge it around. Yeah. I I still don't understand how the morph ball. How does Samus's spine not like tear? Okay, Riley, to save the no, to Riley, to save you the trouble. The reason why it was designed like that is because during the first, uh, the design of the first game production, um, they, they couldn't, didn't want to they couldn't program to have two pixels horizontally. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Also, I just want to say, okay, there was a game theory video, and apparently Samus herself could feasibly curl up into that ball if she was. Like, yeah, try to hit me, motherfucker. Oh, Ow! you don't know me that well. I celebrate too goddamn soon. <laughs> Ow! So it's, so it's entirely possible within us. This is what I get for being arrogant. Which you may have had that she get over probably here. can tore herself into a ball. Son of a bitch. I think you're forgetting the fact that she's also infused with fucking alien bird DNA, which is why she has the power suit in the first place. Oh, okay, alien true. bird DNA. That makes sense, then. So she's a half alien bird, half human contortionist space. Kind of? Bounty hunter. If, if I remember the lore correctly, yeah, Metroid lore, fucking, it's a thing. It, it's kind of the thing that fucking the series was famous for and all that shit. If I'm remembering it correctly, she is technically fully human, but she was infused with Chozo DNA at some point ah! in her life before she got in the power suit. But okay, that I was can believe it now. That was what allowed her to access the power suit, was the Chozo DNA. I think Chozo found her after she lost her family to, I think, Ridley? Yes. So that's you can see how much more That's why she got infused with alien bird DNA. Hmm. Yeah. Shit, 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 I am not doing so hot. Yeah, no! that's an explanation. So Ridley alien, is alien both DNA. the reason her parents are dead and the reason she's as... <laughs> Strong as she is. What doesn't yeah. kill you makes you stronger. Wait, did I get him? Nope. Shit. It's Come on. Quite, it's actually quite funny that essentially all of her power comes. Where are you, you son of a bitch? All her power <laughs> comes from Ridley, basically. If Come he hadn't on. done what he did, she probably wouldn't be here. And the oh my be god, just fucking die. Okay, you know what? I should have <laughs> thought about this. Here, eat some super missiles. Super missiles! Sorry, actually, there we go, dead. now you're dead. Holy shit. Really, really <laughs> created his own worst enemy. Yeah, basically. Isn't that always how it goes? What? <laughs> super missiles? You create well, your no. own worst enemy. Really well, created, basically became... It was because the Ridley instrument of his own undoing. Oh fuck yes! Yeah. Give me that fucking energy tank. I need it right now. Holy goddamn! <laughs> they don't. It's like it's not. You sound thirsty there, like, Golden. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> yeah, keep it's laughing over there. Like I mean, it's, he's completely valid to be feeling this way. I I know the struggle of being. Oh, I have fucking. I have uh, 0. 0.2 fucking hit points left, and uh, my last save was about 30 minutes ago. I know the I know that horror. It's not yeah. shit. It's fear. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs>
the kind of fear that would dwarf the power of most nightmares losing progress in a video game. Oh, yeah. Enough fear to power a dwarf star. Enough fear to destroy a dwarf star. All right. Oof. Uh, I'll look at it in a moment, season. Depend. Yeah, the season of Wichita. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you just said. Yeah, it does. It's like back to the whole thing about the worst and anything. It doesn't always work out like that because, like, fucking Batman's worst enemy is the Joker. But I don't think Joker was the one that killed his parents. I think and it was one some, of the uh, Batman. All right, later, Kiki. Some out. origins it is. No, uh, the one that um killed uh batman's parents personal together yeah um I'm trying to i think his name was joe chill yeah yes, joe chill, joe chill. It was it's joe from chill, my favorite uh, brave and the bold episode the chill of the night yeah mm. he was the the one who killed um batman's parents however when it came to the joker however Many stories are saying that it was because Batman accidentally knocked him off into a vat of acid is why he became... The that's Joker's the Tim Burton version. No, that's actually a common uh, origin story for the Joker. Yeah. And then things that's were changed around back and forth, like, one of which being that, like, the Heath Leather Joker is that he his, uh, his face, the makeup, is all war paint. Oh. Um, one of the things that... Like one of the reasons why Batman knocked Joker, the the one who was originally Joker, before he got turned into Joker, is because he disguised himself to look like the Red Hood. A version of the Red Hood, basically, because these group of guys were trying were using him to bait the Batman, basically. Did somebody mention my favorite Batman film? <laughs> well, that's like one of the. Oh uh, wait, wait—is yeah. the call back? Oh, yeah, wait, I'm going the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Someone Did reminded me know? which game. Oh, um, Gamer Girl, I'm playing Super Metroid. That's Metroid Three, the best one. <laughs> <laughs> also, what's up, Phil? I didn't catch what you said there. <clears throat> Oh. You know this. <laughs> oh, good God. So, so the crystal flash <laughs> is. At... Oh wait. The murder <laughs> beam. <laughs> but uh, there is a trick to it. So, if you have fifty or less energy. No reserve tanks, 10 missiles, 10 super missiles, and 11 power bombs. All of those requirements you build, by the way. Uh, what you do is you go into Morphfall, you select power bombs, obviously, and then you hold down L, R, while you're in Morphfall, and that initiates the Crystal Flash, which basically uh, just completely refills all of your energy. You know, I should have thought about that when facing Ridley. Because there's still some, there's still some shit that I have yet to learn about this game. I, I love it that much. Oh, uh, no, well, yeah, no, the, the Crystal Flash is like some fucking... It's some deep tech in the game. Hmm. Well, Golden, think of it like this. You didn't need to use the Crystal Flash to beat Ridley, so... Doesn't that make it better? I guess. 